Hi, we're looking at uh, the function notation problems. Um, I'm really assuming you know how to do these, and if not, there's other videos you can totally watch that we've done earlier. But these are a little bit tricky, and so since you're here, I'm glad you're here. We're going to go ahead and look at them. Um, for this one here, this is telling me to take f of x, which is right here, and to put it into this function, into the g function. So this is the g function without an x, with a space for what I'm going to put instead of the x. And instead of the x, here, I'm going to put in the entire f of x function. So I put those in, and honestly, all you need to do is just simplify that. So there's really nothing much to do. You just combine your like terms of your negative 1 and your 2, and you're finished. This one is a little bit trickier. So for this one here, this is my h of x function, and I'm supposed to put that into my f of x function. So I'm going to create a space for my normal x and my f of x function. Does everybody see that? And then what I did, I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy right in there. So right inside there. So again, this was my h of x function that I put inside of the x position. Now, it's really tempting to say, oh, it's just 2x times 2x and 1 times 1. It's not. This, remember, means 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1, which means that I am supposed to multiply these and multiply these and multiply these, and multiply these, which means what I get is 4x squared minus 4x plus 1, which is not what I would have gotten. I'd be missing this little term in here. And then, don't want to forget the last little part there. So hopefully you can recognize the next step. Those cancel each other out, so you're just simply left with this as your final answer. Hopefully that helps. Let's go ahead and look at this one too. Um, oh, no, not that one. Just kidding. Well done. Bye.